Many forces in the GOP are trying to find a way to make Trump go away. There's reports about pushing DeSantis or another candidate announcing a run against Trump that's coming down the pike, fundraising, intrigue. A congressman told The Atlantic that people will go on stage and put on the red hat and give him a call and say, I can't wait until this guy, quote, dies. That's a Republican quote. But the RNC is still firmly in Trump-friendly hands. They just reelected his chosen leader for the party, and now they're forming what they call an election integrity team that is basically another place to launder discredited lies for the loser of the last election. There will be officers that monitor elections and aggressive legal strategies, which is striking considering that Trump lost every single case that made a range of claims about being the loser of 2020. The RNC doubling down on him and the big lie, and it's led by this official that we remind you participated in a coup planning call that Trump directly organized. What did the president say when he called you? Essentially, he turned the call over to Mr. Eastman, who then proceeded to talk about the importance of the RNC helping the campaign gather these contingent electors in case any of the legal challenges um, that were ongoing changed the result. A lot of Trump critics and Democrats think this will help them. The more elections that Republicans emphasize or relitigate the 2020 loss, the better for them politically. But a lot of other legal and nonpartisan experts are sounding an alarm about the continued mainlining of these kind of people and this kind of set of lies to undermine our elections. You make up your own mind, as I say around here, but at the beat, we are concerned about door number two and these type of people pushing these kind of lies for this many years to millions of people who might yet believe them.